What's up as well fans, back with me Rocky Padilla and welcome back to another episode of ASEAN Basketball Discussion. Today we're going to discuss about Tardio Rafena who made some headlines and also made history today after making it official that he will sign with the San and Neo Phoenix basketball team in the Japanese Professional Basketball League. He made history because he will become the first Filipino and also the first Asian import to sign with the Japanese B-League. So congratulations to my boy Tardio Rafena on this big move. This big move doesn't come in a surprise because after a stellar collegiate basketball career at Ateneo Blue Eagles, he made it clear that he wanted to play overseas. That's why he skipped the PBA draft and he received a couple offers from Australia and also from Japan. But finally, he made Japan as his next destination. So this is a big opportunity for 30 Rafana to learn and also play in the big boy league i think the level of competition in the japanese b league i think is higher than in the pba if i'm wrong you can just write it on the comment section below but i think it's higher so this is a great opportunity for three rafana to elevate his game and also step up man step up his game and he gonna he gonna play as an asian import which comes with a lot of pressure uh the team of course gonna expect 30 to produce right away but i've Pretty sure that 30 gonna handle this pressure just fine. So I think 30 Rafaena gonna be a big, big boost for the uh, Neo Phoenix team as they like struggle last season. I'm pretty surprised they're like 5 and 36 last season. I saw the squad, they had Rope Dozier, I think, uh, former Alaska Aces import, and they had Devin Ebanks also, the former Los Angeles Lakers. So I'm pretty sure uh, with 30 on board, uh, the Neo Phoenix team is going to be better next season. I think the season going to start in October, and I'm not sure if 30 is coming on Friday because they say they had a news, they're going to have a news conference on Friday. I don't, I don't know if they're going to do it in Japan or they're gonna do it uh, virtually, but I'm pretty curious about that. But uh, also, 30 gonna have a couple of new teammates. Uh, I think a couple of uh, Japanese national players also, but I'm very, very interested to see 30 and I think Yuki Kawamura, the young point guard from Japan. I'm, man, I'm interested, I'm excited to see those two play together. I think Yuki is really fast. I think it's gonna be fun, man, to see those two in the backcourt for New Phoenix. Now I would like to ask all my Filipino viewers, do you think this move by 30 Rafaena will become a new trend in the future for other college basketball players in the Philippines? As we know, there's another player from FVU, I think Ken Tuffin, who is playing currently professionally in New Zealand. So please let me know in the comment section below, do you think it's better for the high caliber, high profile NCAA or UAP player to go overseas instead of playing in the PBA? Write it in the comment section below. So before we leave, shout out to the Japanese B League for opening the door for the ASEAN players to become an Asian import in their league. Uh, this is a big, big move I think from the Japanese B League. Hopefully we will see more ASEAN players playing as an Asian import in the Japanese B-League, hopefully one day from Indonesia also. So thank you so much for the Japanese B-League for helping the growth of basketball in the ASEAN region with this opportunity. So guys, that's my video today. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.